There are four E-4Bs in the fleet. They are officially called the National Airborne Operations Center and nicknamed Night Watch. The E-4B is the President's mobile command, control, and communication center for times of national catastrophe or war. The doomsday plan that houses the, the Holy of Holies, the war plan, uh, it's considered basically it's top secret, so it's stepped out of the limelight. National Geographic was given rare access to an E-4B by the U.S. Air Force. Colonel Marty Doble has commanded the Night Watch mission for three and a half years. You've got numerous fixed facilities around the country that are capable of doing what we do. They don't have wings on them that are able to fly and escape any type of threat. The E-4B has multiple crews rotating on eight-hour shifts. We will respond on a moment's notice, a crew of about 60 to 70 people ready to move. We're out here all the time. The mission never stops. The E-4 fleet first deployed in 1975, when Soviet missiles could hit any stationary target in the U.S. with multi-megaton nuclear warheads. The E-4B is capable of refueling in air and flying for extended periods. Special paint protects it from the thermal radiation of a nuclear blast. The plane we're uh, about to go on is 750125. It's the youngest of the four aircraft that we have. The main deck of the E-4B is divided into compartments, including executive quarters, a battle staff area, and a communications area. The upper deck houses a crew rest area and flight deck, where some of the instruments are surprisingly low tech. The flight deck itself looks fairly antiquated, but there are some reasons for having analog systems in the environment that we may have to operate in. Uh, they're less susceptible to electromagnetic pulse. The electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, from a nuclear blast could fry the E-4B's computer boards and electrical circuitry. So much of the aircraft, including the cockpit windshield, is designed to protect against EMP. The compartment furthest forward on the main deck is the senior executive suite. It's the president's doomsday headquarters. Very small and uh, rather austere accommodations. Small uh, compartment up front, uh, lavatory, uh, small closet, no shower. Doble says that unlike Air Force One, comfort is a luxury that cannot be afforded here on the doomsday plane. Our real job is to provide them the capabilities that they need to conduct their business worldwide. The president's business relies on work done in the battle staff area. It's the heart of Night Watch. This is where military experts would analyze the damage of a doomsday attack and assist the president as he directs the response. The distinctive hump, called a ray dome, houses some of the 67 different satellite dishes and antennas on the outside of the plane. The E-4B has dozens of different means of communication, from open to encrypted, low frequency to high. It has everything from voice over IP to teletypes, a technology first introduced in 1924. We have submarine forces, we have aircraft, we have uh, troops that are in trenches around the world. So you want to make sure that you are going out over every possible means to ensure that any messages that need to be transmitted are transmitted and received.